in today's video, I want to talk about men full sending. Today we're talking about fornication and the consequences men will face. Let's talk about it. the most high Yah Shalom. All praise to the most high Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another righteous spiritual episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I'm gonna post a, a, a clip of a video in here, you know, that will show you if there was a picture beside the word irresponsible in the dictionary of a man, this is what it would look like. Women out here watching this, I want you to think about what your life would look like if you had a baby by a man like this. Roll that footage. I got seven kids and seven baby mamas. Now for the past few days, I've been going live, telling my story, speaking my truth. And a lot of women having an issue calling me a deadbeat because I tell them I was being irresponsible, yet not wearing protection. But I always tell uh, these women that I got pregnant that I do not want to be a father to these children. And I offer to pay for the abortion. Majority of times they'll either take the abortion or they'll take a plan B. Man, oftentimes, Men that love fornication got every kind of opinion and, and, and uh, feeling towards women that say, my body, my choice. You know, men, you truly need to take, you know, that title or that uh, slogan and hold claim to it. My body, my choice. Man, your body is the temple of the living Elohim. And either you are defiling yourself as a man, or you are honoring your temple by fulfilling the will of Abba Yah as a man. Just like in this video that I posted, you saw this man was what I call full sending it. Meaning going up in women raw letting them letting them fly out the doggone tube full sin is a automotive racing term that means hey whatever you brought to the racetrack whatever you brought to the drag strip you know if you feel confident in your build you crank the boost up you crank the nitrous up whatever it is you crank it up you got that full sin tune in there and sometimes it's catastrophic. When you think about men fornicating, men get mad at, man, all these women coming for me and they know I ain't no good. And listen to what the man said. These women know I didn't want to be no father, but the onus is on you as a man. Let me tell you something. There's women out there that will give you sugar walls. I'm going to be, I'm going to be a little bit raw with this one. They will give you sugar walls. They will give you some sex, give you some booty. They will be freaky as you want. But as a man, you got to have a discipline to say, no, I'm good. Listen to what I'm saying. See, there's men out there that think, okay, I can full sin. She's on birth control. I can full sin. She's on the pill. She's on the patch. I got a condom on. She told me she's not fertile. She told me she can't have kids. There's a man out there falling into that due to ignorance right now. There's a man out there put a condom on and oh, I, I, I'm good. And the whole front of the condom around the head is just missing. Gone, blown off. This is the man that's saying, man, I didn't, I didn't realize this had happened and it's too late. Man, I want 
want you to understand, once you fall sin, you are putting your life in a woman's hands. Don't be surprised if the woman that you fornicated with does not take your guidance. Don't be surprised. Look at how, look at what you guys come together in. If you came together in sin, men that fool sin, they often have a problem with, uh, you know, taking care of their kids, don't want to fulfill no duty to uh, the woman. But you in there, you in there long stroking it raw. Listen to what I'm saying. You was, you was talking her draws off, talking a good game. Brothers that know how to full sin generally have a mouthpiece. Ask me how I know. See, I'm very blessed and fortunate and I thank Abba Yah for his tender mercy that I only have one biological daughter through marriage. Very thankful because I'm telling you, back, back in the day, the way I was living, man, whoo, get that text. Man, my, 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 my period didn't come. You know, good and well as a man, you are not ready, capable, stable enough to doggone uh, be a husband and a father and you just busting them down because you getting a thrill out of it. Let me tell you something. There's a man out there that's going to roll the dice and going to full sin one time and will be made a father. You're not going to get uh, opportunities. You're not going to get the same mercy. You know, you're not going to get opportunities uh, to continue to rebel. You're not going to get opportunities, you know, to, to go against the will of the Most High Yah. You got to think, man, the Most High Yah for violating his laws, statutes, and commandments. The man picking up the the man picking up sticks on the Sabbath one time, face judgment for doing it one time, one violation, and you out here thinking that you can just full send all these young women? And then here's another one. When you get ready to marry as a man, and you, you you like, man, I'm ready to get married, I want a wife. Look at how many women you've helped defile. Look at how much you defiled yourself. You're not even in a healthy space, spiritually, for marriage. You're gonna see the, the, the product of the environment that you've helped shape by full sending on all these women. Like a 30 round magazine, you just brr, 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 shooting up the block. I tell you, man, there's always a, 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 a worthless man out there. Listen to what I'm saying. Women know this, there's always a worthless man that's no good that can drop some good dick off. You ever see those, I don't know for those people that have uh, lived in urban environments, inner city environments, you got these corner stores and stuff like that in bodegas. You got the men that just hang around these places, don't never have no job, don't have no place to live. You got the, 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 the drug addicts and drunkies dancing while they open the door for you. Come on in, sugar baby, you know. Ha, ha, ha. You know, these are the worthless men that are waiting on an opportunity to drop some, they gonna full sin. They ain't thinking about uh, the, the will of the most high y'all. They not thinking about no rubber, no condom. They ain't thinking about it. And when you hear women ashamed to talk about their baby daddy. Well, we just don't even need to talk about, this is why, this is why. There's a, man, you could, you could throw a rock and hit a worthless joker that's got all the time in the world to lay up on a woman, you know, and, 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 and drop, you know, hard stiff in her all day long. And if you are, uh, you know, naive as a woman, sister, you will allow this to happen and these men gonna full send you. They gonna full send you. You gonna be talking about, oh, I felt it in my, I felt it in my throat, I felt it in my, I got heartburn, I felt it. I'm telling you. And you gonna be wondering why your life is miserable. Men, you know, it's already bad enough trying to do it right 
you know, by having kids in wedlock with the rate of divorce pertaining to women, 70% of divorces are filed by women. You are already dealing with a headache. Even being married the way these women is jumping ship. And you got the nerve to want sympathy because you out here a uh, full sending, shooting up the block with an AK-47? I'm telling you. See, the word says, because the most high Yah is not expedient in issuing judgment, the heart of man continues to sin. You think you get away with it. You know, they got one man that's got a whole bunch of homeboys skeeting up the block, full sending on every female they get. Never have to deal with a baby mama drama, but their days are numbered. And you, as an ignorant man, say, oh, I'm gonna go do the same thing, man. He having such a good time. You gonna do it one time, and she gonna get pregnant. And that baby's coming out the womb. And, and at that point, nobody don't care uh, if you don't have your own place, if your money ain't right. I did a video talking about there's a lot of men out there that's too broke to be having sex. Too broke to be having sex. You cannot even take care of yourself as a man, but you out here full sending, wrecking somebody's life. See, men, you gotta take that slogan, my body, my choice. A lot of the pain that a man will have to deal with in his life is surrounding sexual immorality and fornication. Just because a woman is easy don't mean the journey is gonna be easy for you if you go against the will of the Most High Yah. A lot of these women that you bust down as a man, I'm talking about, Lee, Lee, I'm talking about, excuse my language, you in there hitting this thing so raw, you leave your nuts hanging out. A lot of these women, you don't even have interest in. You don't even wanna be with long term. See, the man that treats a woman like a sperm receptacle, like a semen dumpster, this is the man that's gonna have the worst experience far as uh, you know being accountable for children. I'm saying the stuff. I'm saying the stuff that pastors won't even come close to. Won't even come close to. See, I couldn't. I couldn't be up there because I. I'd be looking at all the young ladies in the in the doggone congregation and be like, don't let none of these bokers jokers over here hit you raw and leave they nuts hanging out they be like oh i can't believe he said that i would definitely tell him hey this joker he live at home with his mama this joker can't keep a job and you over there talking about his hair was nice and he a dreadhead and he looked good man i man no these folk don't want the truth people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge man i had these kind of conversations with my son and daughter i got two 10 year olds and a 12 year old I'm trying to make sure we got good stock out here. I'm telling you, there, there's a, uh, uh, you gotta think a responsible man is more likely to be a husband and a father through marriage. An irresponsible man most likely is gonna be a baby daddy. Gonna be a baby daddy. You gotta think men out here, some of y'all is so lustful you will try to bust down married women because they throwing it at you. Where's the discipline? Man, that's a biblical case of adultery. She talking about we separated. And you up here, oh man, I, 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 I want to hit it. And then in a top, there's women out there that have said I was, I was married and I got pregnant by another dude. I don't know what I'm going to do. And here you are on the backside. Nobody ever sees your butt come to the camera. I'm talking to you. Man, the book says in Ecclesiastes that an adulterous woman's kids will not prosper. I'm telling you, man, you wonder, you gotta understand the judgments is real. You sit up and lay down with an adulterous woman, don't be shocked if your child comes out with some type of uh, deformities and, and craziness based upon your disobedience. Just because a woman is throwing it at you don't mean you got to take it. Don't mean you got to take it. A lot of men don't read the fine print behind they sin. Wonder why they're suffering. Man, my life is hard, man. I can't even, there's people taking everything from my check. It's like, okay, you do it the right way. There's a high probability you're not going to get taken advantage of 
uh, you know, if you are fulfilling the will of Yah. But you laying down, busting all these chicks open, and, and you got two and three babies out here, all by different women. Don't be surprised if these women is, is, is bank account gouging you for money. Man, these women pay two thousand in, in, in child support a month, and all. Nobody feel sorry for you and you out there busting cheeks wide open. Hit and run, brother. That's what I call it. Hit and run, brother. It's a dog on shame, man. You better, you better understand the consequences, repercussions, and judgments for your actions as a man surrounding fornication and sexual immorality. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking it gun barrel straight.